let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Anyway, <laughs> were, were you saying, Kevin, that we should just jump back into the game? Yeah, yeah. So, or, so start with the intro. And pretend like nothing happened? Oh, yeah. Although, well, we can't really do that, though, because Corey vanished last time. I don't know. <laughs> he, had the, he was with a group of kids milling about. He just yes. Off. Well, I think what happened was, because it happened like right before you guys went into the haunted house. Right. Um, and I think right, like you guys turned around and when you looked where he was, there was just like a skeleton wearing clothes and it collapsed and then his monkey ran off. <laughs> so I yes, think, that's uh, the way I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that did happen. However, you do notice when you were inside the house that he is somehow in there. Eventually we spotted him. <laughs> Yeah, eventually you spotted him with the monkey that is like sitting on his shoulders. <laughs> um, oh, his monkey. Now I'm trying to remember him what room he to. Oh, Go good. Ahead. Oh yeah, yeah we yes we found, uh, we, found the we just too. left the room where um, were they bobbing for stuff or something? Oh, upstairs. Yes, there were goblins. The goblins, right? goblins. Were bobbing for human heads. Yeah, there we go. Yep. That was it. Yes. Well, they were children's heads. And we were like, well, there's goblins in here. Let's. Yeah, you guys were like, we're about... out of here because I don't want to be around gobble. Yeah. Being around gobble. Yeah. Um, yes. So then you guys, I think you just like walked out into the hallway and then we decided to call the night. Yeah. So... yeah. I think that sounds about right. Um, so you guys are just standing in the hallway and you see Gravy walking up the stairs holding his monkey's hand. <laughs> what will you do? Hey, look at that little monkey. Gravy, where are you going? Where have you been? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you were just, you were right there, and then suddenly we didn't. I'm simply yeah. following my path. Okay. Well. Sorry. Well. Disturbing. You're fine. Yeah, so you we fought a multi-rat. Yeah. It got into a fight with uh, a set of armor. That was like alive. That had meat inside of it. Mm. Oh yeah, and that. The meat man. So yeah, so there are two more doors on your side of the hallway. Um, and then on the other side there's another set of three doors. And then there's a door to the back of the room. So I guess you're standing on the right hand side. And you just came out of the room with the goblins that were bobbing for heads. Then there are two other rooms. And then across from that, you know, there are three. And then one towards the back. I think I just repeated the same exact thing. 
that I just said, I but know, maybe. I, was, I, was, I, was, yes. I was trying to like frame it differently to see if that made more sense, but it didn't. No, it's okay though. <laughs> <laughs> By now, you guys are probably used to just having to think abstractly. That's the only way I think. Good. Well, so. let's go <clears throat> in one of these doors. Yeah, do you want to go to the want to the door like right next to it, or do you want to go to the one the ones across from the hall? You know, let's go to that set of three. Yeah, wow. You what? One of the one of the three doors. So okay. go to the three doors right down. Right down. That you're standing on. Three doors on down. Right yeah. Side you're standing yeah. On. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just say that you go to the yeah the room that's directly next to there. Um, you go over to it and. Go to turn the knob to push away in, and it is locked. Mm. But it jiggles a little bit. Um, you were warned to stay out of any locked rooms, but yeah. also, you know, if you chose to not obey those rules, you could always try to pick it. It's up to you. I am. I wish. Uh, if you guys want to, I will peek in from outside. <laughs> yeah. Another door. Okay, you tried the, a different door. Yeah, that's 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 my suggestion. And yeah. if no one else has, if no one else wants to do anything in particular, then yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, let's try another door. All right. So the other, the, the next door, um, on that side of the hallway, you <clears> open <throat> up, and there there are four, um tall backed chairs and they're all sat around this tiny table uh in the middle of the room and there is a um like a bowl of like strange dried fruits um and nothing else there are, there's not a window in this room or anything like that oh and they, but uh, they there are sconces fruit. on the walls though i want to say trick or treat and grab a handful of that fruit okay so add, let's see here. Three dried fruits for your inventory. <clears throat> they are severely dry. <laughs> They're very, they just look almost dehydrated. Severely dry. <laughs> severely dry fruit. It's the best. Like time. almost more like fruit leather at this point, you know. Ooh. Fruit leather's tasty. Yeah. Hang on, like one I'll be right back. Fruit jerky. It's okay. Kevin will fix it all in post. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> right we'll just on. CG you in afterwards. Okay. It'll, it'll be great. You'll love it. Okay, so I don't know. If very, <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, you enter the room with the dried fruit, and you take the dried fruit. And what else are you guys gonna do? Anything else? Is there anything else in here? here? Oh, there is a, a small table. There's the sconces on the walls. There's the four chairs. So just um, and, just those and chairs I, that you mentioned, yeah. Well, there's very they're very tall. They're very tall backs. Um, and underneath the table, uh, there is oh. like a secondary shelf, and it has some sort of um like flat box with uh kind of like if you reach under and feel it feels like little studs or something on it. Hmm. Well, let's I want to investigate that. I want to look at it. You pull figure it out, out and try to I don't know, open it. It, it it's okay, it's very strange. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. It looks kind of just like a plate of some kind. But it has interlocking segments that have just kind of like a, almost like a cross shaped sequence, um, except for it's kind of uh, it, it, it's all discombobulated. The pieces aren't matching, but they're like red parts and blue parts to it. Mm -hmm. But it's all mixed up. Like, can we shake it? Okay. It kind of like yeah, think of that. like if you were looking like at a Rubik's cube that's like you know it's all yeah. twisted around. Only it's not that intricate. It's just blue and red 
blue and red. Yeah. Almost, almost like a cross shape. Hmm. So maybe you could fold it into a box. Well, you you can't actually fold it. It's oh, like yeah. flat. It's more like flat, and then you can move the pieces around. Maybe you can move the parts. It's like a cross shape, like Ruby's cube. Right. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But there are red pieces and blue pieces, and currently they're all like mixed up. Mm. And so, let's sort them. Yeah. Which do you want to do first? Mm. Or like, how do you how do you want to arrange it currently? Put all the red on one side. Put all the blue on the other side. Okay. Um, all right, so you so you organize it that way, and uh, you you feel it starts to feel kind of hot, like warmer. The room suddenly feels very warm. Um, wow. like like the the temperature like increases. You get like and it's very stuffy since there's no like window in here. So we found the thermostat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's rearrange it to put the red and swap the red and the blue. Let's see if it gets cold. Okay, you you arrange it and the yeah, same thing. It slowly starts to get colder. Hmm. You can feel like your hair's pricking up. If you have hair. <laughs> I doubt. <laughs> Should mix them kind of evenly together and see if we get a kind of a middle. Uh, well, it was originally kind of just a mix of all the of the yeah. red and blue. Was I more comfortable then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we should put it back. You try to move the pieces back, and they do not move. Water. Let's this switch it back. <laughs> we, should, we should take it to management and demand, and demand a refund. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you change it back to the red? Is that what you're saying? Because you tried to change it back to to the mix of the of the combination, but it doesn't go back to that. The I want to sit. Out. I want to sit in one of the big chairs. Okay. Um, are are you change when you said you were changing the uh the the plates? Were you changing it? Because you you had already tried to mix it up again and it wouldn't mix up. But are you changing it back to the red pieces or is it staying on the blue? Uh, blue. Yeah, leave it oh, blue. You're leave it on blue. Okay. So you leave it on blue, and uh, and, and gravy. You sit down in the chair, and like, a as you sit down, you feel like your body, it, like the chair, the back of the chair is like stretching slowly upward. Oh. And you guys all see this actually. It, it looks very Just strange. Just the chair, yeah, is stretching itself. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get out of the chair. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm scared. <laughs> What's it do so, now? So you, so you get out of the chair, and the chair shrinks back. You can hear like the fabrics and things. Like you can hear like kind of almost like something stretching. like rubbing up. Yeah, you can feel like yeah, you yeah. Can feel like stretched out to going back to normal size. Interesting. The Is there anything around? The, well, the room starts getting quite a bit colder, and you can start to see like the steam from your breath. What were you asking before I interrupted? Uh, or something around that I can like sit in the chair to see what it does if I put someone else in it. A clock? Is that what you said? Rock. Oh, a rock. No, well, or you can wood, set or the like puzzle. any kind of like item. Like, like just like sit in the chair. You can set the puzzle, um, or uh, the basket that had the dried fruits. Yeah, I put the fruit okay. in the chair. You set it in the chair, and nothing happens. Hmm. I'm going to stack up the chairs, and then sit it and see if I can make like a ladder to the ceiling. <laughs> make a strength test. They're quite heavy. Oh, this isn't going to work out. 
11. And then don't you have a penalty to strength, or is that including that? I just have zero. I've just been playing oh, okay. Okay. a penalty to strength. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you try to lift the chair. You lift up, like, one edge of it, and it's too heavy. It's just too heavy. Like... Hmm. Darn thing's yeah, bolted to the ground. Realize... This is this is unsafe. It's bolted. You can see the bolts. <laughs> you realize that it's too yeah, it's too heavy for you to move on your own. And as you guys are standing there examining the chairs, um, you can see uh around the metal parts of the sconces, like you can see like condensation, or like you can see like a not condensation, but like little bits of frost, like mm -hmm. appearing on it. I do believe this room is defective, and we should vacate. Yeah. Might as well just leave. Okay. Try to go through the door, and the door is locked. Oh, God. The floor well? start, starts to um, take on sort of like a crystalline, it's like slowly taking on like sort of like a crystalline um, appearance. As it's getting colder in the room. Right. I, I, uh, I put up my briefcase and I start to disassemble the door. Turn the cube. Oh, back yeah, so you have tools or something? Yeah. Yeah, go okay. Um, um it's agility? Yeah. Alright. That is a 14. Okay. So you take the uh unscrew the hinges. Unscrew the hinges, you take the door off, and when you pull the door down, there's just a wall there. Huh. Turn the cube back to red, or at least like middle. It, it wouldn't go back to middle. It won't go back to middle, yeah. We arrange it in stripes. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you gonna are you gonna turn it back to red or are you gonna leave it in blue? I think we should turn to red for a little bit. Mm hmm Okay. So uh you turn it back to red. And the floor, like the crystal crystalline aspect of it, like it starts to just sort of melt. And like there's uh, sort of like a, a wetness to the floor right now. Um and and similarly Let's... the frost that were the frost that was on the sconces <laughs> melts away and there's little little driplets of water. I think we've got to sit in these chairs. Uh, we're going to have to, because our, otherwise our feet are going to get all moist. Being moist is the, yeah. it's, it's like the worst. Yeah. I'm going to sit like in a it. chair. Okay. You sit down in the chair, and you see it starts, the back of it starts to slowly stretch up towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Is uh, the door still open? No, like it we is didn't not close open. the door behind us, did we? Nobody did that, did they? Nobody. Said, well, okay. Yeah. So, so and then and then Carl. I'm sorry, uh, I missed dismantled. part of it. That's okay. Carl dismantled the door, and when he took it off the hinges, there was just a wall behind it. Instead of the opening to the room. Oh, I'm sorry. This must this must have happened while I was gone, didn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, so so, so we're so we are trapped in here? Yeah. Currently. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm nice. going to sit <laughs> in the chair next to uh Fartilda. Okay, so oh so so Evan, you didn't hear the thing about the chairs stretching, did you? Or did you? I did hear that, yes. Okay. okay so it's so, just stretching, but then what? Like, it just goes all the way to the ceiling, and then... It just, yeah, it, it, like, it, touches, like, it stops, like, right beneath the ceiling. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, both seats do that. Uh, and you feel it starts getting quite a bit hotter in here, so quite noticeably hotter. Fuck. <coughs> what are, are there windows? 
No, no mm. windows. No windows in this room at all. Okay. No. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might all four have to sit in the chairs. Me too. I am gonna sit in a chair. Okay. You sit oh, in the chair. While I'm opposed to giving in to peer pressure, it seems like uh yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so you uh actually that's the only reason I sat in a chair is because somebody else suggested. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh you guys sit you guys all strictly sit in the because of strictly peer pressure. <laughs> You, you, so you guys all sit down and the backs of your chairs all rise up and and they're like just maybe like that far away from the ceiling. Which you don't remember looking particularly like tall until you sat down in the chairs and it's almost as if the ceiling stretched with the chairs. Hmm. <clears throat> Does anything else about the room look different? Like, is there an extra um, sort of stuff or whatever. The water that was on the sconces has evaporated. Uh, it is <clears throat> starting getting quite a bit hotter. Um, you feel anyone who's tall enough for their feet to touch the ground, uh, you can feel the ground beneath you, like the floor beneath you is heating it up. It feels warmer. Fuck. Warm enough for you warm enough that if you have shoes like does it does it does everyone have shoe wear of some kind? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I assumed I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, because you can you can actually feel like it's getting so hot at this point where you can feel it through your footwear. Like it's not burning your feet, but ah. like you can feel it. Right. Oh but we can feel it warming yeah. up. I think we should join hands and have a seance. <clears throat> Around the fruit bowl. Around the fruit bowl. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so you're going to try to perform a seance? Yep. Do you have any kind of um, material or anything that you can try to do that with? Or, or are you just going to start hold hands and, and start just for... I, I guess I've never really done this. I've never been part of a seance. So you I don't see know these seance uh, going on downstairs, right? <laughs> yeah, like the one downstairs? Is that how? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do that. We're like, hey, spirits, it's us. How do we get out of here? <laughs> Yeah. Help me. Okay, so make a presence test, um, Cartilda, with everyone. Yeah. With. Sorry. I have only one other idea. (laughs) What's your What's your other? No, I I will join. I I want to join, but I do have one other idea. If this If this doesn't give us any fruits at all, I say we smash it. The cross. Smash what? Yeah. Puzzle box thing. Yeah, yeah, the puzzle 13. box. I say if or the I mean, not it's not it's just not a puzzle box. I, it's just like a, a tile. It's basically a tile with movable plates. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was I picturing. Is one of those like where you move the things around and it makes a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so three, like you got a four, it, but no thirteen. Yeah, if, if we can't, if this let's. If what? Jesus. The audio is messed up, honey. Lagging. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chris got a 13. To, for the seance? Okay. Or to, to commune with the spirits. Um. Okay. So, you know, you the, the light, the torches flicker slightly, um, Almost as if there was a breeze in the room for a moment before it became horribly stuffy again and hot and sweltering and clammy. Um, but you you hear you're calling out to the spirits and you all hear in your minds um, that, cool. that that sacri- a sacrifice is sometimes necessary mm. and uh. It says that that's the cost or cost that a meddler must pay, hmm. or the price that a meddler must pay, not the cost. Times <clears throat> necessary. Yeah. 
Everybody put your fruits, put your dried fruits back in the bowl. Sacrifice. Yeah. Damn, he's right. <laughs> I will. I in, as a part, apart, apart from the dried fruits, I want to put the the uh, uh, some of the fruits that I got from that house. So there was one that said fruits and nuts. I want to put uh, some yeah. of that in the bowl also. Okay. Yeah. And see what happens. All not right. la- not all of it. But I want to see like like a handful or something, and I don't know. I might give yeah. him my toad. You might give him your toad. <laughs> Maybe, no. I'm not going to do that yet, but I okay. Maybe want to see what happens first. <laughs> okay, so you you put all that stuff in the bowl, and for a second, similarly to when you communed with the spirits. You see, like, except for you don't feel a breeze this time, but you see the, the, the sconce, the candles, like, flicker again. But you don't see any other difference other than that. Like, that's all you see. And it's still hot. It's still getting hotter in the room. Hmm. <clears throat> well, Billy, really bad idea. Wait, maybe we should make a picture on the tile. Make a picture? Yeah. Uh, you... It's it's not really that intricate. Like it's more. It's just red and blue. Uh, but do you want to try to move the tiles again, though? Yeah, put them to blue. Okay, make a presence test really quick, though. Fourteen. Okay. As you're moving the the plates around again to now make it, uh, blue. You notice that when you act, when you slide a piece into place um, accidentally in the wrong spot, you notice that it's not stopping you, so you could potentially mix the tiles again. Oh, there you go. Mix them up. Like hmm. instead of just having it go from red to blue. So it's where you knew you're going to just make them be scattered again. Is that what you're thinking? Or are you just going to make it? Yeah, work? I can't visualize all that would be to handle it. <laughs> make it a nice, comfortable I'm sorry, purpose. I'm really not explaining it very well. I'm, I'm just in back, like imagining this like big tile and it has these like movable pieces that you can like kind of push around like a, like a, uh, what's it called? Yeah, uh, a puzzle game. Well, I know exactly. Like right, it's like the puzzle, but yeah, it's just not a box. It's like a movable pad. It's like, yeah. Like, but I'm in no mode to like, Figure it out myself. I see it. Right. Yeah. Yes. No, mix them together. <laughs> yes. No. I'm not expecting you. To, no. 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 That's not what I was expecting. I was explaining that the you the difference that you guys noticed this time is before it would only let you change it from red to blue. It wouldn't let you disorganize them all again. But now, like, there's it seems like the plates aren't locked anymore. Like you can move them in whatever combination you want. No. Oh. So I so then I was asking you, are you changing it to blue? Or are you or are you scattering them or what? Scatter them. Okay. You scatter the pieces again, and the temperature finally cools down. It goes back to just being completely like just normal room temperature. I love a good room temperature. <laughs> I know you like water that's room temperature. Which is so strange to me. <laughs> like, I uh, love the a cold important thing, is there a door? Um, no, there there's not. Oh. Um the, the pieces of the door that you dismantled are laying on the floor. Uh but no, there's no door behind there. Well what are we gonna do? Well, this is definitely unsafe, so I'm pretty sure at this point we're obligated to make our own door. So I'm going to go up to the wall and start knocking, see if I can find the studs. Okay. Well, w- well, the frame is still there. You just, when you took the door apart, you just took, like, you literally just dismantled the door. Like, you took the, you just, you know, took it apart. So the pieces of the door are still there. The door frame is just there, but on, instead of there being right. an actual 
opening it's just the, the wall you know what i mean it's just mm. right so i'm gonna make a new door mm. okay so with what you're just gonna like hammer are you gonna cut up try to cut yeah, i've got tools i'm gonna it? saw a hole and push okay. my way through into the hallway okay so you start sawing into the wall and as you do the the like the whole like you know when the house is like settling and i need to hear all of the creaks and cracking and everything it makes that noise and where you're sawing into the wall there's blood coming out oh my that god distinctly <laughs> unsafe <laughs> you pull your saw out and there's and there's blood and unsafe yeah they should they should have insurance <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm obligated to find the owners of the establishment at this point. Their their wall is full of blood. <laughs> Listen, as, you, as you are looking at the saw, you see there's blood and like little chunks of meat. Okay. On, on the on the teeth of the saw. Monster house. Monster house. So what happened with the fruit? I was going. Um. So when you guys put the fruit and everything back in there, or just can somebody tell me like a real? Quick... Yeah, he, yeah. It's, uh, basically, the <clears throat> the temperature went back to normal. Everything went back to normal except for where. Except we're still trapped in Carl, here. Yeah, you're still trapped in the room, but it's not hot anymore. It's like gone yeah. back to how it was when you guys first entered the room. Yes. Yeah, and it's all bloody and shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got because Carl tried to like, solve yeah, the wall. But, uh. All right. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to hit that bloody door with my staff. I just missed that little bit. Okay. Um. Well, uh, so, yeah, so basically, yeah, Do just the, the public got put back together weapon. and everything returned to normal. And the now, well, not normal, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Before you guys tampered with the room. And mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. uh, gravy, you're attacking the wall with your staff. What'd you have? 18. Okay. Um, rule, roll for your staff damage, which I think is a D4. It is. Oh my God. Where'd it go? I got a four. Good Lord. Okay. Nice. So, so you <clears throat> swing at where um, Carl was sawing, and you bust away part of the wall, like you make a hole in it. And when that happens, the the house does it again, it like creaks and groans. And as soon as you like, you pull the staff away, and blood just a big blob of it, like just plops out, hits the uh, ground, like a clot. And, yeah, a big clot like, just hits the ground. And the, the wall just keeps bleeding. Is it making a hole that we can get through yet? Now it's not big enough. It, like right this moment, it's not big enough. Okay. Uh, I, well, like you can I, I have an your axe. Hand in or something like that. But... Yeah. Oh, okay. I want to stick my hand in there and see if I can go all the way through to the outside into the hallway. Okay. Um, so hey, it gets bitten you... off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, think so. Man. I think it's just a fleshy wall. <laughs> so, so you put your hand, it feels, you feel just like your hands wet and warm and you, you were like shoving your hand into what feels like a, just a gigantic wound and okay. you're feeling flesh and the, 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 the room starts to shake and you all kind of make it, everybody make um, an agility test. <laughs> oh my God. Agility? <laughs> That All is right. a six. That's, dude, oh. that's my only good. No. Oh, shit. I got eight. Um, Me too. What did, what you, did you all get? I can't, couldn't hear you. I eight. got a six. Eight, eight, six. And what did you get, Billiam? Eleven. Okay. So when the house shakes, you all fall down. You all get knocked down. And your arm is like <laughs> yanked out of the... Out of Shit. the wound, and more blood. Just when you pull your arm out, more blood is disgorged, and it just starts spraying into the room, and starts to slowly cover the floor. Okay, I'm gonna I put my so fruit back that I took because I still have my dried fruit. 
You're going to put your fruit back that you put in there? Yep, and a piece of beef jerky. Mm. Um, you're put Okay, you're taking all that back, basically, that you would put in there? Yep. Or no, okay. I, so I'm taking the dried fruit that I still have and putting it yeah. in the bowl, and I'm also uh, putting a piece of jerky in there. Oh, okay. okay. Tiger five. Okay, all right. All right, so you, you put that stuff in there, and the blood starts to slow the the like the bleeding starts to slow and hmm. it eventually stops altogether um and it looks like there's like a, it's starting to scab over that hole that was in the wall mm. slowly starting to scab over okay but there's still no goddamn door <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I would put the door back in the door spot where there should be a okay. door. Make the, the same test that you okay. made to dismantle it, make to reassemble. Uh, there we go. 15. All right. You put the door back together and it is good, as good as new. Is it still locked? No. I open the door. Back the hallways back the way it was before. Thank God. Uh, oh, yeah. oh fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> once once we get out, I have got some I've got fifteen foot of chain. I wanna try to swing that chain into the room from out in the hallway. And see if I can get snag that bowl of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you like a grappling okay. Bowl? Yeah. I want you to make make a presence test to have the accuracy to do that. Sixteen. Okay. So you managed to make it land and get hooked. I'm assuming that there's like a little hook at the end of the chain. So. You swing it, and it gets hooked onto the bowl. Now, as for whether you're going to be able to yank the whole thing back in to where you're at without spilling it, I don't know if you're interested in that or if you just want to just pull it off the table or what. Take it easy. Just a slow, like, bowl. Slow pull? I didn't know okay. if that'd be better, or it's like a really hard jerk to try to get fling some of the fruits and stuff out of the, in the hallway at us. Well, so no? Yeah. I think I'm going to I'm going to go because I feel like once it falls off the table it's just going to fall and it's just going to splatter anyway, yeah. So I feel mm -hmm. like I should go to hard jerk. Okay. Probably. Hmm. Okay, so you're just going to give it a hard jerk? Yep. Quit All saying right. hard jerk. Hard <laughs> 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 jerk. Hard jerk. Hard jerk. Hard jerk. Hard so go ahead and roll. Uh, <laughs> since it's a hard jerk, roll a strength test. <laughs> um, I rolled another sixteen. All right. Oh, you, hard jerking it. He whips it. You he jerk it, it off onto the floor. You, Fuck yeah. You jerk, you jerk it off all over jerk the floor. Jerk it hard, boy. And <laughs> and Kay, you just rains all over your face. <laughs> 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 the dry fruits fall, fall out of the bowl. And as soon as that happens, the door slams shut and cuts your chain in half. Oh my god. I've got 7.5 <laughs> feet of chain. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, looked, it appeared to be a wooden door, but it still somehow broke the chain. Like <laughs> It was worth a shot. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Um, but, but when it when that happens, it breaks the chain. You also hear the door lock. So after that harrowing experience, what will you do now? Well, I need to find somebody so I can talk about flood insurance because clearly they got a leak. So <laughs> I, I think we should test some more doors. Let's go, okay. Let's go. He's probably okay, right. Okay, so you go across the hall. <laughs> so there's the there's the three across the hallway, or 
there is at the opposite end of the of the um like the where the stairs are there at the back wall there's another door there too you just want to investigate these three first, first and then go to door is that what you're doing is that what you said okay i'll show you all right back. okay so you open the door it's very dark there doesn't seem to be any light sources it smells kind of like dusty um but it is completely dark uh, unless you have a light source, which yeah, I don't recall if you do. I've got a torch. Yeah, torch. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember if you did or not. I have dark vision. Oh, yeah. And you have dark <laughs> also vision. Also that. Right. So <laughs> you enter the room. And, There's and that. You, you see that there um, are like there, – there's like some sort of metal shelf in the back of this – smallish room. It's a, it's a little smaller than the room you just were in. Um, and there's like some sort of like blanket or something covering the shelf. Mm. You also see in like one corner there's a bucket and it looks like cleaning supplies of some sort. Like you can smell kind of like a chemical smell. Yeah. Almost like bleach or something like that or whatever the horrible equivalent would have been in those times. Just some sort of poison. Uh, why? Yeah. Yeah, poison or or ammonia made from urine. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. There's a strong piss, piss and poison smell in the air. <laughs> mm, smells oh, clean. Oh my, piss and poison in here. Smells clean. That, yeah. that smells uh, clean. Indeed. Punk, that's my punk band <laughs> album name. It smells of piss and poison. Is piss and poison. That's a yeah, that is a that's a good uh, that's a good name for an album. This is poison is a great name, actually. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> anyway, really it's a good name. <laughs> speaking of piss, I have. To I'm gonna write that down. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. First album Don't smells of. <laughs> I am so close in trying to start a punk band. You should start a punk band. We just gotta wait for what all you need. Band. I'm gonna do vocals and bass. And I got my uncle for drums, and a dude I know that may or may not probably play guitar. Nice. But Chris, if you want to, we could probably use a second guitar or... Sorry, I cut out there for a second. My internet screwed. Oh. oh, Chris, if you want to, when it does eventually get going, because I'm going to make it happen, you could do second guitar or first guitar or bass, and I do guitar. Maybe. I mean, so what happens? I, I do play a little guitar. Yeah. My, it's my guitar sucks, though. That's that's why I want to have, I want to start a punk band because, like, punk band, dude, yeah, you it's have punk to suck. rock. So, it's okay. Well, if, it's okay if you suck. I, mean, I, I just want to go out and just, like, play a fucking rowdy show. <laughs> Fuck uh, yeah. <laughs> there's all, like, I always think of band names all the time, and the kids come up with some good ones, and so does Sam. I'm trying to remember the one that they came up with the other day. Oh my god! But it was on some piss and poison level, you know. Yeah. I just need to try to remember. <laughs> oh, Rattled Maggots is one that we talked about being. Oh, that's our... really good. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so. Uh, oh, I no, love. I want to look at the hard punk band, Corey Constable and the Delicious Assholes. <laughs> I really want that to be one. <laughs> but really, more than likely, it'll just be neon cheese. Neon cheese. That reminds neon me really cheese. quick. Real, real quick. I, I feel like I mentioned this in maybe one of the episodes of um, Petrifying Picture Show, or maybe not, but uh, I remember, Corey will probably remember him, and, and Chris might, but do you remember Buddy? Um, he used to be downtown all the time. He 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 and Mama Jean had like the yes. food and stuff. Absolutely. Oh uh, well, when I worked at Docs, Buddy was talking to me one day about how like you know he's been in like various bands over the years. He's like a, basically like an older hippie guy, and he uh, he told me that like the first band he was in was in the like in the end of the sixties, and. Uh, they were just like a punk, ba a really bratty punk band. They were just, you know, 
being shitheads all the time. Yeah. Essentially. Around. Yeah. And so they were like, they wanted to come up with a name that was going to like get people riled up. So their name was Sharon Kate's baby. <laughs> which I thought was pretty fucking oh. I thought that was pretty fucking hardcore. That's pretty good. And so like he was talking to me about it. He's like, but we but no one would let, let us play anywhere because we're <laughs> and I was yeah, like, well that's that you right. Know. They were in the hot seat on that one. Yeah, they were. But I told him I really wanted I really want a shirt that says Sharon Tate's baby. I need to make <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. It was like a little like <laughs> <laughs> But speaking of Sharon Tate's baby, uh, as you guys are, um, you're in this room, you can hear like, like, you can hear something on the shelf, like it sounds like a jar moving or something, or like some sort of like glass tinking up against sound. Hmm. Hold my torch up in that direction. What? I'm going to hold up my torch in that direction. Okay. You, you, there's this blanket or, or some sort of like cloth that's covering the shelf, like it's keeping, trying to keep dust off of whatever is underneath. I'm going to rip the cloth off. You rip the cloth away to see various jars of different sizes, most of them small, but the bottom shelf contains what looks more like a round aquarium. Or fishbowl than hmm. uh, than an actual jar, and inside each one is some is like a greenish fluid, and there are various sizes also of what appear to be deformed fetuses. Some of them more developed than others. Some of them human. Some <laughs> of them animal. Some of them combination of of those. Uh, yeah, and then the biggest one. Well, in the biggest like jar that's like I said, more like an aquarium or fishbowl, there's this immensely round, it almost looks like a sort of like Modoc, only yeah. like more fucked up with like an over like oversized eye and like a tiny arm and stuff. But as you shine the light, they all react. Like they all they're like, all alive. If they have eye, if they, oh my if god. They have eye, if they have eyelids, they blink. If they don't, they just kind of shy away from it, flexing like little deformed seahorses. Are they oh, cramped no. in those jars? Yes, they're like like fucking some jars have more than one. Like, some in jars there, have like... more than one, like a like almost like a jar of fucking pickles, but with various deformed yeah. like, feet oh, on it. That's disgusting, <laughs> man. We have enough knowledge to know if. If we let them out of the jars if they'll live. You have no way of knowing that. Shit. Aside from, well, no, that's not true. You do have a way of knowing that, which would be to spill Open one out of the jar. Out. But, yeah. but to, check, that, to take one out of the jar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only way that you would. I'm going to take the smallest, shittiest looking one. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like, open looking. it and just kind of like, you know, like, do you want to arrange them in order of shittiness? Yeah, arrange them in order from like yeah. most yeah. shitty to least shitty, so we know. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I love everybody and everything. I, I, well, but... I, you know what? Yes, make a presence test to see if you can determine the quality of, of these. The smallest. <laughs> Shittiest one. You find, yeah, see if you find the shittiest Which is the fetus. most deformed uh, jar fetus? Yeah, that we, we clearly need to know. <laughs> that makes me want to bring my little... I, I, well, I was going to say maybe I shouldn't do this because we might get in trouble, but we're not monetized or anything. Oh, clearly. We're so. not. We're yeah, I, no, we so let me hang on one sec. Let me so, like let me bring my own. Um, you have any jar fetus? Feed. I have three. But hang on a second. Oh yeah. Wait, what? You fucking what? What? We, I think it may have been one that we like. My wife and I gave him. Sometimes you know we. Uh, Wait. Take what? care of cats and dogs with a pregnant. Okay, so it's a cat. Oh. Okay, what do you say? Yeah, my like, wife no, and I gave it human. to him. That it, that sounds like you had a child and you just kind of put it this in the jar. This is beautiful jazz. 
This is what Jet named her. Beautiful cool. Jess. Is that a cat or a dog? Holy a dog. shit, dude. Is that one That's that uh, cool. I gave you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought so. Well, they were in my closet for such a long time, and then I was like, wait, what's the point of having dog fetuses if you don't let, like put them out for people to see? So, Absolutely. My, like, Dude, shelf they should be on a fucking shelf, bed. man. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They Good. are. They're yeah, with my, that's like, where they should be. Skin. Yeah, they're with like my bone, Hell yeah. bone and skins and things. She's got a couple of kitten fetuses in her locker at work. <laughs> oh, well, if she ever wants to part with them, where to sit? Mm-hmm. Anyway... <laughs> I have a I, I actually feed them stem cells to, to keep myself alive. That's what I do with them. I just pop them in my mouth and eat them like a dumpling, you know, or a pot sticker. Well, they, they'd be well brined, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> like a dump, a soggy dumpling that's been sitting in some sort of chemical brine for we'll just ages. Just slide right down your gullet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't have to swallow. Just, oh, yeah, oh just, the bones wouldn't like be formed properly yet? Yeah. They say a fetus is the oyster of the womb. <laughs> is that what they say? Yes. <laughs> Some, somewhere. They do now. Oh, my God. That's what we'll say. That's all we'll be talking about. Dude, that should be yeah. like... A, that sounds like a song name for piss and poison, dude. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh my god. So what did you yeah. wait, what did you roll to determine the shittiness of the fetus? Like what did you get? Oh shit. <laughs> he forgot. No, I had a 13. Oh, okay. So you look around and you find the most like withered up little fucking shrimp looking bastard. It's more of like a tadpole with a tiny like chicken flipper. You like know? an angry chicken yeah. nugget. Yeah, and it doesn't have eyelids, and it's it looks like it's scowling perpetually. <clears throat> so you me. dump it out on the floor, which makes it you can assume that if it had any other like abilities to make facial features, it would really be scowling even harder. But it, you pour it out on the floor, and it just flops around <clears throat> like a goldfish. Okay, and it's like flapping and slapping. I'm going to put it back in some water in the jar. Okay. Uh, so make a um, strength te- uh, well, no, an agility test to try and grab the little sucker. <clears throat> Man, I have no bonuses to fucking nothing. Most of mine are negative. <laughs> Nine. That's the Beauty of Morkborg is that everyone sucks. All right, so you grab yeah. a hold of it <laughs> and it slips right out of your fingers like a greasy hot dog. Oh, I want to no <laughs> <I wanna, laughs> try to grab it. it onto the ground. What'd you say? <laughs> Are you, you gonna nah, try and never... trust the little guy? Nah, <laughs> it was a 10. You ain't <laughs> telling me. Yeah, you reach down to grab it, and it, it just squ- it's too squid like it's too it squishes out squirmy. of my hand. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I didn't give it a now you guys' hands smell really bad. And that's that's even with my plus two, by the way. <laughs> damn, I have a bonus to agility and nothing else. <laughs> only agility. That's my only good skill. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Chris? I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. Is that was agility? Yeah. yeah. Uh, agility, I got a 12. Yeah. Okay. So you gri- you managed to get a hold of it, and it's just flailing. Yeah, I'm going to put it in my tree back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You throw, it, <laughs> you throw it in the tree back, and you see it lands on the big wad of, like, candy and, like, that's, like, just stuck together that's in the bag. And it gets it immediately, like, gets stuck, and it's, like, flailing around. And then it just <laughs> sort of, like, it's molded to the side of the candy, almost like the candy is like oh. devouring it somehow. So it like kind of gets stuck to it where it's like an Akira, it's like kind of Akira, you know, onto it. Yeah. It's like a gummy Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a into the 
Yeah. Into the tree. Neat. Oh, uh, by the way, this was me. So this this has you doing that. You have given yourself a new candy treat. Uh, it's a let's see, what would we call it? Um, it would be a. It's just a confectionery fetus. Confectionery fetus. Once per day. Such a good band. If you eat it, if you eat it once per day, when you would die, if your body is not like burned or destroyed somehow, a tiny fetus erupts from your corpse and grows into your normal form oh. of the, with no equipment in like D6 rounds. My God. Oh, <laughs> nice. So, wait, wait. Fetus. So, if he eats that, then whenever he dies, he'll eventually like that'll happen. Like like it doesn't matter. Three birds. Eat it. Unless right? like if you eat it right now, now eat it. and then yeah. you die two weeks from unless now. Unless his yeah. body is burnt. Well, unless his body is burned. Yeah, yeah. Or like or destroyed. Or destroyed. <clears throat> yeah, just completely destroyed in some manner. So but like even if he, if he just got like shot or something and you died, then it would. So what if he dies in like twenty years? <laughs> well, by then he he would die. Here's how he would die: by 20 years, you would die from a grown man emerging from his inside. <laughs> That's Which what would, would happen. He would just be he would just be walking around, and one day he'd feel really strange. He'd and then feel, a, a he would feel 20 really year old he just erupts. <laughs> You know, it was like <laughs> giant bloated like boomer bellies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yep. uh, I need to grab the charger very quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that now. You should definitely eat that. I don't see any downsides. Yeah, it's a good yeah, idea. Do it. It's, it's yeah, yeah, you should I mean we should eat all of these jar babies if that's if that's what it does. Shit. Kinda... Maybe we should. Oh no, we should get all of the <laughs> we should start making <laughs> what's he call what did he call it? Confectionary fetus. Yeah. I thought we maybe start... the bigger ones let them go, but I don't know. Now like dang. I kinda want to let them all go. But they all can't be like viable. You, what? Start, yes. you know what I mean? When this happens, yeah, there's no way they'll survive. Yeah. Listen, when this happens, though, the big fetus starts, it looks angry and it starts like bumping into the jar that it's in. Like it's trying to knock it off onto the floor. And if he does, he's going to shatter his glass and he's going to fall on the ground. <laughs> Let him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So he just he's shoving up against the glass and he it, the jar falls out and it lands and cracks and he like seems stunned for a second and then he like shakes his head and like bubbles come out of his deformed nostrils and he push he's like pushing on the lid of the jar and then you can see the crack travel up the rest of the glass and just bursts open and there's this like <laughs> I I call it a fetus, but it's actually a like it, I mean like it's it it looks like a fetus, but it's like the size of an actual baby. This, oh this, yeah, this okay. underdeveloped. So what is it like? Lump. It's like the size of a like a like a one year old. Yes. Or like but, okay, right on. Yes, it's the size of a one year old, but it <clears> has. <throat> but the strange thing is, and like as as you see it now outside of the liquid, you can see it has like these like little. Bits of like weird stringy hair is somehow growing on it, and and like as it blinks, it's it's like disproportional eyes. It like open opens up this little withered mouth, and it has these little sharp deformed teeth. And so part of it is developed, and then it like look, it blinks and looks at you guys, and opens its mouth, and it just hisses. It just. I'm gonna brandish my axe at it and say, "Be careful." <laughs> It blinks and it rushes forward. Everyone, prepare for initiative. 
Okay. 15. Um, 15? Oh, wait. Was, wait, was it going to be... Um, oh, we're supposed to odds are... We're supposed to odds are evens that. Uh, yeah. I forgot how initiative works in this thing. Um, does anybody want to call it? I'm going to say, I'm going to say odds. Yeah. I'm good with okay. odds. Odds, odds boys. Okay. Are you rolling or do you want me to roll? I can roll. Okay, roll. Well, okay go ahead and roll. Okay. We'll stick to the um, board. It is a 19, board. so it's odd. Woo. All right. So you guys react before this little guy. I'm going to pick up the bucket full of ammonia and fling it in its mouth. Okay, well, his mouth, his mouth is not, like, big enough to, for you to pour it into his mm -hmm. mouth, but he can fling the whole, can fling the, the whole bucket, bucket in its face. Yeah. yeah. So make a presence test. Acid. That is a 18 minus 1, 17. Okay. So roll a d4. Two. Two? Two. Okay. So you fling it onto the creature. It shrieks and, sh and and like you can see parts of its like skin, its very thin skin being eaten away. But it's already, you know, but it's already covered in that weird brine. So it starts shaking itself off. Everybody make an agility test. Ah. Oh my god. Make a, are all of us make a jelly test? Yeah. Yeah, as it's shaking the chem it's shaking itself off flinging Fuck. chemicals everywhere. Ooh. 15. 14. 15, 14. Chris got one. one. Beer. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's just my dog. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> Sam said RIP, am I right? All right, so Chris. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> you try to dodge out of the way. Artilda steps I'm... on the broken glass. Only got three hit points. Slips and falls onto the floor, and and uh, you you get sloshed with bits of the corrosive fluid. Um, so take one point of damage. And until, like, until you actually for how, let me see, how many rounds? Hang on. You're going to take one point of damage from the chemicals for three rounds. Unless Fuck. you do something about it. Whatever that could be, you know, whatever that might be. Um, and then, and then, Billy, you take one point of damage uh, from the chemicals. For and you take it for one more round, unless you do something about it. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> Where is it? Is it on my face or my hands or like? I want to uh, like wipe yeah, it, it on my on wipe mouth. it on the outside of my furs. Oh, okay. Well, I want to like wipe it on the outside of my fur cloak. Okay. On the like um, the uh, the outermost, you know, on the out on the fur part, part yeah, of the pelt. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah. you do you do if you spend if you spend one turn like if you spend a turn doing that uh, like this turn doing that then that'll end the effect. Same for you, Chris. If you like. Okay. Spend, yeah, like, I'm gonna do that. Just cleaning it off instead of attacking, then you will be freed from the consequences of the ongoing burn. Yeah. I'll I'll do that. Okay. Um so unfortunately that leaves Gravy being the only one else who can act since Carl spilled the or splashed the fetus with chemicals. You know what the hell's going on? So <laughs> the uh, deformed baby is hissing at you guys. You guys are getting ready to get into a fight with it. And Carl oh, yeah. poured poured chemicals, cleaning supplies on it, and burned it. And it shook itself off. Um, and flung the chemicals on you guys. Which oh, yeah. actually, which actually, I will say that that was just its turn too. So that way it can't 
Uh, so that kind of goes back into the order of. I guess uh, that makes uh, sense. Is he? Oh, uh, is he like laying down? No. Is he like all right standing? Yes, it's standing on its little mission. It's somehow, despite looking like it shouldn't be able to walk, it is able to stand at least. Well, I'm gonna uh, come at him with kind of like a happy Gilmore style with my staff. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, so make a strength I test. You're trying to hit. Yeah, to make a strength test. Natural 20. Oh, man. Okay. Fuck yeah. Uh, hang on one sec. Yeah. Give you a minute. <laughs> 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 I do D4 damage. So when I just. Well, it'll be double damage. Oh. So, so roll 2D4. Two and four. Okay, two and four. Okay, so you smack the little guy. You do. You hit him exactly like Adam Sandler in that movie, and he, he goes flying <laughs> across this small room and yes. slams into the wall and falls down, and it looks severely damaged and dying. It's just laying on the floor. Part of its head's caved in. It's like <laughs> rough shape. Good. Yes. And when that happens, the rest of the shelf just comes alive. All of the fetuses start <laughs> shaking and slamming into the glass, but none of them are as big as that. Okay. I would like to. Uh, is it still our turn, or is this like? Are um, we still initiative? Is, so is it still our turn? You can still act. Uh, yes, combat's kind of ended for now because that one's okay. dead. But the rest. Oh, of them is it are dead? Dead. Escape. So there's yeah, no it's... there's no coup de gras to be performed. Never mind. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to finish well, it off. Well, <laughs> well it, yeah. I mean, it's it took it only had like five health. So it's dead. Dead. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. So let's just see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna watch that fucking shelf. Okay. After looking over there and confirming that that thing's already. Stopped moving. Okay. Actually, I'm going to stand in front of the shelf with a bucket and try to catch them as they fall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, so make an agility test to try to catch. That is, that was a 19, uh, 20, 21. Okay. Roll D4. Four. Okay, you catch four of them. Um, they they just kind of they land in the bucket. They clink against each other, but they don't make it into the, against the hard floor, so they don't break. So you have four bottled fetuses. Nice. <laughs> um, however, the rest shatter to the ground. Um, and when that happens, they all start wriggling around on the ground, all like trying, like they all start like wriggling towards each other. Is a motive flammable? To they're gonna they're don't let them don't let them get together. They're gonna fucking fuse. Uh, like they're gonna big... fuse like the, they're gonna make a giant fucking monster. Okay, you um, know, yeah. Go ahead. Let's either get out of here or start stomping. <laughs> what? I'm gonna, does anybody? <laughs> I'm gonna play whack a mole. And yeah, let's just start fucking away. stomping on, on them. <laughs> okay. So everybody make everybody who wants to do that make strength tests to try to stomp on them. <laughs> that is a eleven. Ten. Get a six. <laughs> eleven. God 10, damn it. No. <laughs> what did everyone <laughs> eleven, ten, and what? 12. Okay. Who got 12? You? Okay. So everyone's trying to stomp on them or, or smash them with something, but they're like surprisingly quite quick, um, slithering around. You, Gravy, do manage to smack another one with your staff, and it slides across the floor and rolls into some bits of broken glass and just kind of twitches occasionally like a dying fish. Um, the rest of you, however, did not succeed, 
And as you were trying to stomp on them, it's kind of it, like kind of was like sort of in a in spirited way when Chihiro was trying to stomp on the little black slug, and it's like moving really quickly. <laughs> Like, that's what they're all doing. They're all just kind of flailing around. And so for everybody that failed to kill one, it is on your shoe and it's crawling up your leg. Oh, my God. Ugh. <clears throat> that's awful. It Did you say it's crawling up my leg? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, like, all, like, they're all, some of them have little hands and they're crawling up. Others are just kind of slugging their ways up with their sticky little bodies. So what is everyone going to do? Uh, everyone except for Grady. Get him off. Okay. Um. So anybody, if you're trying to brush them off, uh, make... Let's see. I'd probably say just make it be like an agility test. Yeah. To successfully flick it off. Uh, 15. 15. Okay, so you it gets kind of stuck to your hand for a second, but you like fling your fingers like that and it flies off, lands on the ground, and just starts squirming around. Carl right. Milton, what did you get? I'm gonna do that as well. That is a seven. Okay, so Carl tries to get the the uh fetus off but it crawls up to your to your mouth and starts going into your mouth oh I, it, i've got the mask over my mouth okay well it, it's 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 like it's trying to work its Crawl way into the mask. Okay. yeah um billiam do you want to make a make that agility test to see if you can swat it off or do you want to do something else to it i am going to make that agility test yeah I don't okay. know what else uh, I'm going to do about the God damn it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a seven. Okay. <laughs> so the same thing. I don't happens. have any omens left. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's pretty much already. In, in well, so you, uh, as you are trying to get it off of you, it go goes up to your face and it starts trying to push your mask. Up, tries to get under your mask. Um, so, you and Carl need to both make strength tests at this point. That is a two. Okay. Uh, I've got one omen. Oh, no one's okay. in my face with its tiny fingers. That is a twelve. Okay. So you managed to get a hold of it. It's in your hands now, squirming around. Uh, Billiam, what did you get for your strength test? Oh, he's gone out. Well, we'll deal with him when he gets back. So, Carl, you have it in your hands. You've grabbed a hold of it. And it's just squirming around, reaching with its little flippery hands. I'm going <laughs> to twist its head off like you would a chicken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so um, I'll say since you've already got it in your hands, roll a D2 for damage. Uh, actually, I have a D2 somewhere, but it's fine. Even, so that's a two. Okay, you you ring its little, doesn't really have a neck, but you kill it, basically. <laughs> you twist its spinal cord and it dies. Um, Billion. Uh Yes. What did you did you make a strength Back. test? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I I rolled a seven to to okay. try to like to not next because I kind of heard what was going on and I kind of didn't. So whatever happens to me next. <laughs> okay, uh, I think so, the seven was your agility test. Did you roll again? Yeah, he rolled the agility test and then he rolled a strength test to because oh, trying okay. to get out. No, I, well, I just no, no. He's right. I just rolled the seven, and then nothing else. I, I didn't catch anything else. So roll my strength to test to try to prevent it from getting under your mask. No, that is the strength test. Yeah, I think you already did the agility test, right? The agility, agility, yes. Strength, no. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yes so that, that's what I tried to. That. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Kevin, sorry. I got to Kevin was right the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> he usually he usually is. <laughs> 
exactly what Kevin Brown. said is exactly what happened. <laughs> I'm inside Fair of enough. your mind. <laughs> it's, look how huge his head Okay, is. so that is a, a uh, it's a it's a Viga mind, obviously, right? So sixteen. Well, fifteen, because okay. I got a yeah yes so you um yeah so you grab a hold of it um you prevent it from going into your mask what are you going to do with it as you have it in your hands tear its head off okay you gonna bite it off Ozzy? you gonna bite it off uh Ozzy Osbourne style hell no I'm not gonna bite that thing it tried to go in my <laughs> mouth what it- <laughs> So like, yeah. what, if if I do, it might like come back alive or something and fuse <laughs> yeah. to me, or bite my tongue, or I don't know what it's. I don't know why it wanted in my mouth, but yeah, it wants in my mouth. There's no way I'm biting it. <laughs> that's fair. You don't want to get that's, that's, actually, uh, that's fair. Yeah, I can't <laughs> argue with that. That's yeah. yeah. Roll a D two. A D two. Yeah. Well, anything odds even, so yeah, odds D2. one evens two. It's a two. Okay, so you kill it. You I just use a coin. Tear it to pieces. Also, yeah, you just use a coin. Heads Whatever you for want. heads for one, tails for two. Yeah. Basically, yeah. it was just to see if here's what here's what was going to happen. <clears throat> Either you killed it instantly, or next turn it was going to do something to you, since you were holding it. You know what yeah, I mean? Or that's what I try thought. It, or try to. <laughs> Try to so, um, fucking fuse into my hand or something. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You're who gonna swallow like a what was it, army of darkness? It's gonna grow out of your side. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So for children, <clears throat> you are on the uh, clean yourself off, right? That was what you did for your turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now you see there are two of these little fetuses trying to squirm their way up your legs. What do you want to do? I'm going to try to grab one and put it in my bag. Okay. Make uh, an, make an agility test. It's a big fat four. Okay. Oh, the fat so, four. So nice. So you try to grab all of these little, they're much faster and slipperier than you might think. So it makes, so, it, and you're trying to grab it, it is a, both of them start working their ways up. One of them has already like crawled up your chin underneath your mask. The other is like making its way up your other arm. Um, the one underneath your neck is like pushing up against your mask, trying to get into your mouth. So now you need to make a strength test. Uh, 17. Okay. So you managed <laughs> to grab a hold of that one. You have it in your hand. Are you just going to shove it in the bed? Yep. Okay, you shove it in the bag. Um, but the other one is still crawling up your body. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it is going to try to warm its way under your mask. Can you do another strike test to try to grab that guy? Yes. Um, I got an eight on that one. Okay. <clears throat> so it, it manages to make its way underneath your mask and to your mouth, and it just starts squirming between your lips mm. and, try, and making its way between your teeth. You can try to bite it if you want. I'm going to okay. bite it. Okay. So do um, roll on. Do, okay, so it'll be a D2. So it'll be whatever you want to do for 50 50, either flip a coin or so one or two for damage. Um, it's even, so two. Two. Okay. So you bite into the little creature and it wriggles around. Your teeth go right through it. But you have this horrible, like disgusting chemical taste in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, like your t- your sense of like taste is just on fire right now. Mm. It's just very <laughs> horrific. The spicy fetus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you spit or swallow? I'm going to swallow it. (laughs) Okay. Oh, shit. I knew it. He did already eat one, didn't he? Dang. 
Well, he, yeah, he. You the candy uh, coated one, right, yeah. So make a tough, make a toughness test. Thirteen. <laughs> okay. Well, this is so volatile and vile <laughs> that the DC is fourteen instead of twelve. Oh man. So you take three damage that ignores armor. Ooh, that kills me. <laughs> oh shit. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Wait, luckily you're gonna uh, come back to life. Luckily he <laughs> ate the former baby fetus. So here's the thing. You you eat this fetus, you swallow it, and you start like heaving. And like you you start, you start vomiting blood everywhere all over the room, all over the rest of the fetuses that were squirming around. And you fall over. <laughs> And your chest starts to heave, and you hear like cracking as your ribs break apart, and the oh, tiny yeah. little deformed person starts tearing through your flesh, and emerges and opens its slimy little mouth and screws and pulls itself out onto the the floor, fully formed. However, here's the bad thing: unfortunately, hmm. Chris, you don't have a costume because your costume's torn mm. from so so you have you have access to all your gear except for your costume is destroyed so you don't get the benefits of that but you still have your scrolls and what have you okay but uh, I'm a baby right for d6 rounds yes okay <laughs> so you so you could craft a new costume like collecting all those babies. <laughs> you could. How many rounds are you a baby? Three rounds. Okay. Three so, round baby. Three round baby. So you're standing <laughs> on the chest of your former self who's dead and just the just <laughs> leaking fluids. And <clears throat> you look around and everyone's towering over you, of course, because you're just this tiny little person. But you see, uh, slithering across the floor are two of those other fetuses. They're squirming towards you. Baby fight. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do? What will I everyone do? I want to pick up my knife like a sword. You're gonna pick up. You're gonna pick up your knife like. Oh, you're gonna use it like two handed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Berserker <laughs> style. <laughs> All right. So since it is quite large for you, um, let's see. Maybe the, D oh, the DR sure. will be the DR should be higher, a little higher. Yeah. Um, but since you're using it two-handed, it'll deal plus one damage. <clears throat> so go ahead and make an attack roll. Uh, it's only a ten. Ten. Okay. So you you swing the knife, but you're using it two-handed, and, and it's so awkward because you're so tiny and weird. But it goes sailing up. The blade goes sailing over the two of them, and they squirm up, and they kind of glob onto you and just start, like, kind of trying to, like, almost weirdly constrict you. Hmm. All right, I don't like any of this, so I'm going to try to rescue the uh, slightly larger baby from these other babies. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to do to him? Throw him in my sack. It seems to be beneficial. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, since they um, <clears throat> since they are attached to Fartilda, Fartilda is not unless Fartilda changes their mind and moves out of the way, they're not moving. So you're going to grab a hold of. Them. Yeah. <clears throat> so you you pick them up, and they're just squeezing. Fartilda. Fartilda, they uh, deal one point of damage to you as they're squeezing you. Okay. I'm going to shake him, slay, drop Fartilda, then throw him in my sack. Okay, make a strength test to try and shake him off. Like Taylor Swift. <laughs> that is a 12. Shake it off. Shake it off. Well, okay. So you, you shake him like that, which Fartilda, you get kind of dizzy, but 
Uh, one of them <laughs> flips off onto the floor and slides across the ground, but the other one is still on. <clears throat> oh, still on Mortilda? Yeah, there's one of them still on there. The other one you flicked off. So, uh, Mortilda, Billiam, and Grant, <clears throat> what are you guys going to do? I'm going to bite him. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, so may uh, go ahead and roll for damage because it's like attached to you and you can just reach down and bite it. Okay. So roll, it'll be a D2 situation again. So, uh, even so, too. Okay. So, um, you start biting into it, you bite its eyeball and its primitive eyeball and rip it off and it just starts squirming around. Um, and it starts just bleeding all over you. Uh, and it, it dies, but it's still like attached <laughs> to it's still like stuck to your body. It's, it feels strange, like almost it's like trying to fuse to your skin. <clears throat> Where'd Gravy go? I dropped. Don't know. You fall asleep again? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I fell asleep. <laughs> That's not really how Corey sounds, but my sister did an impression of him one time that was like that, and I was like, for some reason, it, it matched his energy. Maybe not his actual voice, but, you know. Oh, yeah, no, I see what you mean. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to swing my axe into their midst. Is there, well, isn't there, like, a still, like, a handful of them crawling across the floor? Yeah, there's still, like, a handful of them. Yeah, they're just kind of squirming all, around, all over the floor. So, yeah, go ahead and make um, an attack yeah, with the axe. I'm just going to... Into like if the into like the biggest concentration of them, I just want to yeah swing into it. Yeah, they're kind of like the ones that didn't go for somebody. They kind of just formed like a um. Little that's a fucking seven. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so you swing. It's it's not that you don't like. It's not that you don't like make contact with them because like they are like once they start to like, yeah. form into these mats, they like kind of they're not as hard to hit. Um, right, but you you swing into them, and three of them are stuck to your axe now, and they're like claw, they're kind of like you know worming their way up. Shit! <laughs> what are you gonna do, Carl? I'm gonna grab the blanket that was covering the cage initially, and kind of uh -huh. toss it over the group of them. Good idea. Oh. Next okay. time, bitches. <laughs> so make a presence test to try and like swoop it over as many of them as you can. Oh, also, is Fartilda? Wait, real quick. Is Fartilda no. in your bag? No. no, I was. I wasn't trying to catch Fartilda. I was trying to catch the uh, little ones. Oh well, I know. But when you picked, when you, I thought you picked Fartilda up because they were stuck to Fartilda. Then you shook. No, Fartilda I was trying to pick up. I was trying to pick up the two babies and separate them from Fartilda. Oh, I in my mind. Well, no, I, I picked I, them up and shook them. Well, okay. So here's what I was my misinterpretation of that because uh -oh. they were like stuck to Fartilda. Right. Was that you? That you had to pick. My, what I was thinking you were doing was picking Fartilda up because they were stuck no. to her flesh. No. And then you were flinging them. One flew off. And then the other one, Fartilda killed. Right. That's not what I was trying to do, but. Like, all right. Okay, I'm sorry that. So you were. Okay, no, so you, it was I'm fine. Sorry, this is, it works. Well, I'll go with. Well, I'll go with yours. So you you separated them, shook them, and then. Well, then how would Fartilda kill the one though? I'm confused. What what is everybody? Let's see what the collective. Um, no, it, it's fine. So when I when I shook them, one dropped off. And then the other Fartilda one was still bit stuck the head off. Far yeah, still. and then Fartilda just reached over, went <laughs> and bit it. Yeah, and killed it. So yeah. I was just left with like. Part of a baby in my hand. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. So he's that just holding good. Fartilda, is what no, I mean. No, I, I was never holding Fartilda. No. No. Okay. Oh, it slid off after I bit <laughs> well, that whatever, one. Yeah. Whatever happened. Yeah. Anyway, so no, um, the, 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 the Borbart Fountain is not in my treat bag, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, so blanket. Fart yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so make a presence test to fling the blanket over them. All right, that is a fifteen. 
Oh wait, no mind. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. So you manage to fling you fling the blanket over them, and they're all like writhing around underneath. Um, but you manage to throw the blanket over over them. Yes. Uh, and there's some like they're squirming around. The loose ones that aren't attached to the other, like a couple of like two or three of them, come squirming out, trying to squirm out from underneath it. All right, it's cool. What does everybody else want to do? Uh, there are yeah, three still um, stuck to William's axe. Yeah, I want I, that's all. Well, the first thing I want to do is get those off of me. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just gonna kind of swing it about. Okay. Uh, making it uh, an agility test to try and like flick them off of the uh... agility. Fucking hell! Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I am not doing very good. Uh, <laughs> seven. No, eight. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to flick them off, and they're just stuck to it with whatever squishy adhesives <laughs> they're using. Um, one of them crawl, it slithers up your arm ah, underneath the mask, it. and it is trying Nay. to get underneath it. So make a strength test. You little bastard. You better get away. Fuck. Okay, that's a five. <laughs> I gotta okay. roll. I, I, have to, I have to roll something above a fucking seven yeah, soon enough, I, right? I, I Eventually. 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 Uh, maybe one. someday. <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> okay, so so here's what's happening. It's it's squirming into your mouth, and you can okay. either bite it or not bite it. Um, <laughs> you know that's pretty much it. That's those are your options. It's just Shit. trying to work its right. way into your mouth. Damn it! I guess I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> okay, I'm not. So, I'm not gonna let it crawl down my throat. Uh, yeah, it's that or just swallow the entire squirming. Yeah. <laughs> So D two, D two not, not while it's not while it's alive. I can't, I can't let it. Get... But you also did just see what happened to Fartilda. Yes, and well, okay, but also consider this. I don't like. I've never seen that happen before. I didn't know that he yeah you had turned no into a baby yeah. because yeah. he ate the other one all i know is all i know is i saw that yeah so all i know is i saw that thing crawl up in his mouth yeah yes that's and true. then and he don't yeah that's all i saw <laughs> so no we don't know what the hell that is yeah maybe that's not even <laughs> yeah maybe it's not even him yeah so anyway um uh, it's a it's a two. Okay. Oh, so two you, damage. Yeah. That's so fine. you bite you bite it in two, and you this your tongue is just completely on fire from this disgusting fluid that's seeping into your mouth from Ugh. the dead Uh So, what are you are what are you going to do? Are you going to just spit it out, or are you going to swallow it? Uh, yeah, I'm obviously gonna... spitting it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm spitting it out. <laughs> well, and wiping Chris, it on I my cloak. If, it, if it's Chris, I always have to ask yeah. because he usually is going to eat it. He, he's always eating stuff. Yeah, he's yeah. always eating stuff. <laughs> and Derek is too. Derek is always eating stuff also and getting horribly sick. <laughs> it's very I'm funny to because like, it's worth it. I, the thing about it is, I feel like for Derek, it's like maybe it's because. Kevin is he Evan, Kevin eats stuff too sometimes, but he's an eel man, so he can eat yeah. like dead fish and stuff. Yeah. But Derek's just a human. Like he's just a regular guy. <laughs> he's just eating <laughs> raw yeah. meat and just vomiting everywhere. <laughs> Why he has no teeth. Yeah, all exactly. The, all the stomach acids from vomiting of just, you know, eating away. Yeah, his teeth are gonna be falling out. Yeah. yeah. He's got nubs. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um Okay, so I don't know what happened to Gravy, but when you guys turn to look at him, the same situation happens that happened before. He, like, you turn and look, and then you see oh, no. a skeleton standing there that just collapses in a pile. His monkey that had been, like, just sitting in the corner while all this insane stuff happened, he's, like, shaking, and he just walks over to the door, uh, like, un he, like, turns the doorknob and just squeezes through and shuts it. 
How does how does he keep doing that? <laughs> it's very weird. It's, it literally looks like like one of those science class skeletons, <laughs> like just wearing clothes. It's a skeleton wearing a skeleton yeah. costume, <laughs> and then it just clatters to the ground. Yeah, and it's even attached by like little metal <laughs> screws and hooks. Just they made in China, a little tag. Yeah. <laughs> Came from India, an Indian skeleton form. India. Oh, it's authentic bones. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, so, um, <laughs> so you have this horrible taste in your mouth. You're spitting and sputtering. Um, there are two more that are climbing up the axe. One of them is still on your arm. The other one's on your chest. So if you want to try and flick those off before they try to go into your mouth again, I would definitely advise it. Or the guys can help too if they want. Well, yeah, I'm going to try to. Yeah. Still a baby. yeah, I'm going to try to grab. Uh, do the same thing essentially. Grab the two babies and shake them. Okay. Do you want me to do? Oh. What do I? What am I doing? An agility? Yeah. Or a strength? And, Car and Carl's going to make an agility test too. And since you're both working together, um. Decrease. It'll be a. It'll be dr eleven. Okay. Cool. That is a fourteen. Okay. You. Fourteen. Awesome. Okay. So you both snatch. Uh, well. Uh, so so William, you just like use your axe to kind of like smack it off, and yeah. it, like lands on the ground. And then Carl, you you have a hold of it, and you're just shaking it, and like giving like looking at it like a disappointed grandfather. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then I throw it in my sack. You put it in the sack? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you throw it in there. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, so for Tilda, yours and your baby form. Uh, and is for Tilda there? Did, did Chris get up? I think so. I think he got up. Chris, are you okay? I'm actually going to step okay. away for a second, too. I'm just going to go to okay. the bathroom. This is the intermission. <clears throat> Bio break. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually imagining, like, the home movies music, you know? Uh, let's go out to the kitchen. Or that. Let's go oh, out yeah. to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. The dancing. Get yeah. ourselves to the <laughs> Or I, I like in the, uh, in the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, they have, like... Um, the band Mastodon, they were like oh, these great. different, like, there are these different, like, snacks, and they were like, who would take a baby to a movie? And then all this other stuff, it's pretty funny. <clears throat> are you all right, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, so just basically, real quick, what had happened just now was um, Billiam, like, was trying to get the little fetuses off him, and he, like, smacked one off with his axe. And then Carl grabbed the hold of one and shook it, and then he put it in, um, he put it in his sack. Uh, you are still a baby currently, and there's that like across your belly is that weird fetus that you killed, but it's still like stuck to your skin. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can pry that off of there. Okay, so make a strength test. That's a natural twenty. All right. So you manage to grab a hold of it and it starts to it starts to hurt at first, but you manage to peel it off completely. And you can see there's like it removed like a part like the first layer of your skin, but like not enough to where like it, it's painful, but not really enough to be like dangerous to your life. So you don't take any damage. But you rip it off and it's in your hands and you can fling it to the floor or whatever you want to do. I'm gonna fling it at the other ones. <laughs> okay. All right, so make a make an agility test or a presence test. I mean, to to fling it at um at like uh, nineteen. All right, um, so roll uh, do a d two worth of damage as you just hurl a fetus at another fetus, and that's even. So two. <laughs> so you kill it. You killed a fetus with another fetus. <laughs> Um, they squirm around for a little while. The rest of them are underneath the uh, underneath the um, blanket, but they're like kind of in 
there, you can see like there's a larger mass moving underneath the blanket. As it like squirms underneath, you can see it's like probably about like a human arm worth of these fetuses like moving together like a big snake. And they're they're squeak they're squirming around behind where the shelves are. They're like slowly Black. inching their way. They're not coming towards you guys. They're like going behind the shelf. Okay. Uh what is behind is there like like a hole in the wall or something behind the shelf, or are they just going back there to to hide? Um, it, like like if I go look, do I see? You can look. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah do I see look, like? I can, I'll describe it. Yeah, if you go look, I'll describe exactly. Yeah, like if you try I want. To look I want to go over there. Yeah. Okay, so you look down and you see the squirming. Uh, there's a vent, but like beneath right. the or behind the shelf, and they they're flipping. They're opening the vent with the side of their body and going into the vent. Mm. No, that's fine. This I is, guess it is. This is a problem for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's right. This is a problem for somebody else. I yeah, yeah we should just I'm water just water gonna... damage, like uh, uh rat infestation. Yeah. Maybe in the walls. Uh some of the doors <laughs> don't work. Yeah. Sometimes there aren't they need doors. Insurance bad. Oh yeah. Sometimes they aren't doors. <laughs> Exactly. This house has a lot of problems. It would have been shut down forever ago. So many code Not violations. Code. So many code violations. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the more mm -hmm. reason for you to find Ron and Ethel and try to, you know, explain how insurance works. I could save her so much money. Yeah. So, uh, so the fetus situation kind of takes care of itself. They all slither into the vents. Good, because uh, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Aside from like a couple that are just like dying on the ground, uh, the four in the bucket are they still there? Yes, they are. All right. I'm gonna hold the bucket for the group. Say, uh, trick or treat. I'm gonna want a jar, baby. Um. So yeah. Well, if anybody wants to take one, they can. Um. But uh. Are they still in the jars? Yeah. Yeah. He caught them before they okay. could, uh, before they could fall onto the floor. I will take one and put it in my bag. <laughs> okay, so so you have at your inventory um, a fetus jar, <laughs> and Carl, you have three now. Yeah, three jars. And Fartilda, you can feel your body like Fartilda's like slowly growing bigger. You don't know what Fartilda looked like underneath the costume. So Fartilda, do you want to? I guess it would just be whatever you looked like before, right? Or Unless your appearance was was because of an accident or a curse, or I guess we don't really know. I was a a shivering mass of flesh before, and I I think <clears throat> I would would grow up in as an adult like normally, and then just uh -huh. all of a sudden it would fall off and be the the shivering mass afterwards. Yes. Oh yuck! I love that. <clears throat> so like you when you blanch like... a tomato. What? Yeah. Like when you blanch a tomato, the skin comes oh, right yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. So you grow perfectly normal, then all at a certain stage you develop and just Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you see like Fartilda growing before your very eyes, you see this person grow like go from being like a tiny weird little baby thing to like a full grown adult and, and they look healthy and everything, and then you see their body kind of shrinks a little bit down and their skin just starts healing off. <laughs> until it just sloughs off onto the floor. And Fartilda, you feel great. Yeah. So, it, so is it still adult size, or does it slough on up that it's child sized? No, it's the whatever size Fartilda is. Fartilda, yeah, are it you? was the same size as before. Yeah, yeah. child size. So whatever. A kid. Child size. Yeah. So, it, so yes, it grew to an adult. <laughs> Sloughed off and shrunk the, down. The bones it starts to hold. Oh, that's and it's horrible. Stumpy yeah. flesh. Compacts to child size. Just a just a little sickly mutant with no skin. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I got some cream for that back home. You just let me know, and I'll, I'll get you. 
But yeah, before killing it, you feel great. I mean, you can still, um, your costume is torn up from all of that. Um, but uh, you can still, you still have access to all the rest of your um, inventory. Okay. You're just naked, unless you can, you can uh, maybe I'm like. the blanket and kind of toss it at you. You can use the blanket um, if you want. It does have bits of fetus and broken glass and chemicals in it, but. That's so a you can make a out. Yeah. A little cloak out of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> now you have a filthy cloak. Um, so you drape it over yourself. <laughs> filthy cloak. <laughs> Are you guys just going to go right. back out into the hallway? Filthy cloak on your inventory. Cover your shame, boy. Yeah, I guess so. Genderless <laughs> slash. Person. Cover your shame, person. Wait. Yeah, no. you actually. Oh. I, I mean, I don't know what gender oh. I it is, but I just imagine being completely androgynous the entire time. That's just what <clears throat> I imagine. Yep. Well enough. Whatever took away my skin took away my genitals, too. Yeah. <laughs> First it came from my genitals, then it came from the rest of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So back All right. to the whole so movie. I, so now, I don't think I'd watch that. I no, I would. I, I, I would. Watch it. Yeah, I, I totally would. Um, so you guys are standing in the room. Uh, the fetus is left and Bartolda has grown. Um, there's really nothing else. Uh, whatever you guys want to do, if you want to inspect anything else, the vent, or if you want to, whatever you guys want to do, or leave the room, or whatever. No, I'm to leave the room. Okay. That situation can solve itself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you guys exit the room. Um, there are two other rooms on that side that you're on of the hallway. Um. Which one are you going to? Are you just going, going to do what you're doing before and just go into the one that's closest to where you just were? One that's on the right. <clears throat> okay. You enter the one on the right. And in this room there, it, it's it's much like larger than it would appear with, it, with how like close the doors are to each other in the hallway. There's like something not right like you look into the room and it looks what may way more spacious you see um mm -hmm. there are various taxidermy animals um but you notice that none of them are they're all like chimeras they're all like mixed up just like you know an armadillo with like an eagle's face or you know like a, a bird with or i mean like a cat with like wings grafted to its back or something along those lines. We had these back in my day. The problem was they were too delicious and they put themselves out of existence. <laughs> and oh, you, oh, and you really? see also there are, there are also like on the walls there are little um, glass cases with like strange insects that are pinned to the wall. Um, there's also like a chair a desk, um, a stool, and there's a glass case that has uh -oh. a strange, uh, like, rat, or not rat, I'm sorry, like a rabbit centipede, and it, like, coiled around in a glass. Hmm. I'm going to take a strange bug. Okay. So add a strange bug to your uh, to your inventory. <clears throat> you find this like it, it, you grab you just grab a random weird one and it's like this beetle with like a red iridescent shell and a horn that like branches out into like a multi fingered like, antler looking growth. Cool. Cool. Um, I, if you guys kind of just like spend some time in the room, you, you feel like just sort of a, a like at one end of the room, um, you feel sort of like a coldness. And you see that there's just multiple 
like weird animals, you know, like stuck to the wall or on stands. But in the area that feels cold, coldest is just a very unnerving. And the body looks just like a wolf, like just a large, um, like grayish colored wolf. But instead of a wolf face, it just has a human Regular. face. And uh. it's just and it's just smiling with its like blunt human teeth, and it's just staring at, at you. No matter where you stand in the room, it feels like it's just staring at you. Like one of those creepy fucking Sasquatch things that people make. Yeah. I want to go away from it. And... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you just, you see it. Yeah, I want, like, no, I want okay. to. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. Are you leaving the room? I'm just, or are you just, like, are you, are I'm just a no. Nope. Are you just getting away from it? I am going to exit the room. I'm not going to leave so I can still see them and like leave mm -hmm. the door open mm -hmm. so that I don't get separated from the group. But I'm mm -hmm. out like I'm on across the threshold. Yeah. Okay. So you do that and the door opens and you go out in the hallway and you don't feel. The creep, the eerie because I'm, of the... I, because I'm worried about the door closing itself and like yeah. we get somehow trapped now. So That's I'm fair. trying not to separate from the group. <laughs> yeah, That's understandable. Okay, so you, yeah, you step out in the hallway and you like the door is like left open, left ajar. Uh, what are you two? What are Carl and Fertilda doing? Um. <coughs> I'm going to search around if there's anything useful. Okay. Um, make a presence test. I'm not going to find anything, so I got a two. Okay. <laughs> you look around, and you you can't really... You don't find anything of any interest other than these strange animals. It's pretty crazy, but it's, you're kind of getting bored with it after a while. You're just kind of like, meh. What are you doing, Carl? Uh, I'm going to search the desk. Uh, are there any pens or stationery I can swipe? <laughs> um, make a presence test. That is a four. It's a what? Four. Four? Four. Um, you look around and you see like a little slot in the desk where... You know, you would where people typically put their, you know, their paper and, and whatnot and their writing utensils, but you don't actually find anything. Anything I, like that. It is, it's, it's kind of dusty. It seems like nobody used this desk for a little while. I leave my business card and uh, vacate the room. All right. Uh, so, Fartilda, are you leaving as well? Yep. Okay. So, you guys uh, exit the room without anything strange happening. And then you hear. Footsteps coming up the stairs. Um, you can hear laughing, and you see three other children walk upstairs. Um, one of them is wearing just some animal, like some cowhide that's like sort of lumped over his body, and he's got like one cow horn. Um, and he he's holding a he's holding a stick that has a cowbell attached to the end of it, and then he has his treat bag in the other. Uh, there's another kid who has a pumpkin on his head, um, but it's instead of being carved normally like a jack o' lantern, the stem is like a nose, and then there's a mouth underneath that part, and then it has eyes. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then the other kid um, is just wrapped up with scarves. <laughs> I'm a holding, mummy. <laughs> and he, yeah, he, he's wearing like all these scarves wrapped around him. And he has like a big, um, a big knitting needle and then his bag of treats. But they walk up the stairs and they, they're like, <laughs> they look at you guys and they say, hey, you find anything cool up here? Yeah, did you go check out the <laughs> animal room? They're like, all right. They go, they go in there and they open the door and they 
all three go inside. <laughs> now what? Well, what's in that Abaddon? We should go back to the room full of jars and take that skeleton's costume. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, the one that used to be gravy. Okay. You go back to that room, you open the door, the costume is gone. Oh! Fine, whatever. All right. It's, it's, wait, lose him again? Billiam left. Will he return? We'll see. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Um, but as you guys are sta standing there uh, outside of the fetus room, you hear another um, set of heavy foot and metallic clanking. And coming up the stairs is the uh, is the set of armor. It seems to not be dead. Oh. And it doesn't have it still doesn't have a helmet. Um, there's but there's just like a, that lump that where the rat had burrowed through has just kind of it looked like it just had more meat covering like sort of slapped onto it. But it's walking up the stairs, and it has a broom and a and a dustpan in its hands, and it starts heading towards the fetus room. All right, we should move out of its way and search a different room. Okay, so it goes into the room, and you can hear it sweeping up the glass that's on the floor. Um, you head over to the other room that's on the side of the hallway. Yes, and and it is locked. It's locked. Yes. All right. Um. So I think there was still another door we haven't checked out on the other side. There, there's one at the end of the hallway across, for, like, the okay, way across the from then. the top of the stairs. Yeah. Right, then. Yeah, let's go check out that one. Okay. You guys open it up, and inside is a long walkway, in, and this whole area, the, the wall, or I mean, the ceiling is very high. There's, like, a big, ornate chandelier. It looks very nice. It, it's strange. It, it does. It seems cleaner in here than it seemed in any of the other rooms. Not that the room. Not that the house is necessarily messy, but like it seems like especially nicer. Nice. Yeah, you can see like there's the yeah. walkway that goes across and beneath on both sides. Um, <laughs> there is a there are the two long tables. Um, each with very uh talkative and like bourgeoisie dress sort of powder wig types they're all aristocrats you know aristocrats it looks like they're all talking frantically and and like demonstratively and sloshing wine around and stuff and uh and just talking and yelling and hooting and hollering um but they don't see you guys at all. You're like up above them. This is the this is just the adult room at the at the party where like and all the kids are wandering around and then the all the adults are in this uh, one room hanging out and being boring and lame. Yeah, basically. There's nothing. There ain't nothing here well, for me. So so like the, <laughs> you're at the top of this walkway that leads across, <laughs> and like so the the uh. These two rooms that you can see into from above, they're separated by a wall in the middle. Does that make sense? Like the walkway, yeah. there's a walkway on top of the wall, and you can see on each side, <clears throat> you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then at the end of the walkway that you guys are standing on, you see another set of doors. Or it's more like one big door that's like that opens two ways, you know what I mean? Like you push yeah, it yeah. open. Like a double door. Like a double door, yeah, basically. Yes. So um so that's what you're looking at here. Uh okay. We might as well just so check it out. Do you want to go to the door or do you want to stay in here and see what the adults are doing or what? 
I think I was just going to go toward the door. Like, I mean, if they, if they're not like right behind me, then we might like see what they're doing and stuff. But like, I'm at least going to go over to the door and open sure. it and see if I can see inside. Sure. Um, you walk over to it uh, and you push it open and you get a, like a cool blast of, of night air um, and you push the door open and you see it looks out onto a balcony and this is the backyard of the house. Oh, cool. Okay. And there's a, a very tall like brick wall that like, goes around the perimeter of this large backyard area that has like an outside fountain and there's a, nice. a little, there's like a, what looks like a small like barn or shed or something in the back on the left hand side. And then to the right hand side, there's like a big, what looks like a vegetable garden. Well, we were told not to leave. So. That, that nice. Be, yeah. So I say we turn around. No, I'm not, I'm not going to, I didn't go, I didn't even touch, I didn't even touch the ground yet. Yeah, you're 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 still inside the house. Um, you're just on the balcony, essentially. Yeah, yeah I haven't even touched. And the technically, grass, this is no. still the house grounds. It's just uh, like if I was in the backyard, I would still. I haven't left. Right. I, I don't know. Yeah. It, it, by my definition, at least. Yeah. No, that would be that would be applicable <laughs> here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. In that case, we should check okay. out the right. hey vegetable garden. The... That's what's the backyard. Great. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Well, it's isn't it about Halloween time? <clears throat> there should there there shouldn't be nothing in the vegetable garden. They probably harvested it. But you can see you can just see where there's like a fenced in area, and you can see like a scarecrow. Oh, and like yeah, that makes the, sense. Rub, like this, the uh, like bean arches and things like that. Yeah. Right. I got you. Let's yeah, let's let's go down there. Uh for Tim, I can take the uh scarecrow costume. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a great idea. Um, what do we think that the scarecrow costume should be able to do? Scare away birds. <laughs> well, yes. Yes, that's true. That it allows you to speak to birds. With yeah, authority. Actually, oh, there you go. Good. That's a good one, that. actually. I like that. With yeah. speak to birds with authority. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I I like that too. You can basically bend them. Yes, you can bend them to your will if you'd like. Like you can yeah. Yeah, boss them around. Also, yeah. I'll say that it has like the that. secondary I'll say it also has the same secondary uh Ability of the pumpkin, which this might make the pumpkin obsolete, but we'll deal with that later. Um, if you don't move while you're wearing it, then people, humans, think that you are a scarecrow. So not to not to not to show pumpkin, but maybe the pumpkin needs a secondary ability. I don't know. We'll iron all that out later. Uh, the pumpkin should be able to see in the darkness because of the glow in its eyes. That's true. The dread beast can see in the dark too, but they can. You can have two that have the same ability, right? Well, I mean, technically, the pumpkin and the scarecrow have the same. Yeah, they already ability. do. There already are two. Yeah. Back to the drawing board. We'll just have to. I haven't even used my claws yet. Yeah, that's true. See, it doesn't have claws though, so that it would be different then. That's a good point. Yeah. We'll iron all that out later. But anyway, so so Chris, that's what your scarecrow. If you want the scarecrow costume, you can do that. I think we might have lost Chris. Chris, are you sleepy? Oh, wait, he's alive. Are you sleepy boy? I am a I am a sleepy boy, yes. Do we need to call it a night? Are we gonna maybe have to turn this into a three parter? If we do, we I'm okay to. with that. Yeah, because we did lose gravy. Yeah. Yeah, so, maybe. So I'm struggling you, a little. <laughs> you what? But yeah, maybe I'm I'm struggling. I'm listening, but yeah, yeah, no, Very I quickly Do you turning want to call into it a night? dreams. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and call it a night? Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Sure. Do you want to take the scarecrow costume um currently? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So uh the scarecrow costume costume it's path what well, it gives you tier one armor, so negative d2 to any damage you take. Um also uh 
you can talk to birds with authority. So you can boss a bird, like you can boss birds around and bend them to your will with fear. Um, and then also the passive ability is that if you don't move while you're, or don't move or speak while you're wearing the costume, then you are perceived to be a scarecrow. Cool. Maybe like, maybe the passive for the pumpkin should be something else like, Maybe it should. Get, do you think maybe like since it's you know jack o' lantern is kind of like the typical like of the symbol of Halloween. Maybe it should start with maybe more omens or something. I don't oh, know what uh, wait, wait! You could go back to the beginning. So um, when you die, hell doesn't want you, and heaven will claim you. You just come back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That maybe that's what it should be. Yeah. So like once per. You know, well, just you what you know, the one... at that point you would be dead. You'd have to start over with something else. Yeah, I think that's a good. I think that is a good one for the pumpkin then. Yeah. So that's you where we'll be. We'll make you are smashed. Make changes to that. You come back. <laughs> yeah. You can do it one time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so that will be the end of session two for Rotten Ethel's Macabre Manor. Um. I don't know what's going on with, with uh, Corey and Gravy. We'll see next time. Probably fell asleep or his internet got chopped down or what, whatever. I don't know. I'm not a tech person, so I'm not really sure. Oh, <laughs> But right, anyway, okay. uh, with that, I have been Condor. <laughs> <laughs> I have Crow. Uh, this was a thing that we did again. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, and it's not over, bitch. So no. get ready for... Part three of a continuing series until we are stopped. Until everybody dies. Um, yeah. You know, one other thing. One other thing I wanted to say. This is you know part of our Halloween episode, which of course we didn't film in time for Halloween. No, no, but I, we're I, I ahead like, for next year. Yeah, exactly. So that's the thing I was thinking. Like, if we do a holiday episode, um, people can watch it any year, any time. You know, any year around the holidays and it'll just be you want it to be mixed into the uh that sort of you could keep uh, the magic in your heart alive all yeah, year yeah that flow uh, that flow of media and material that you consume you fucking pigs and you know and it can become a tradition <laughs> so anyway uh i will see you next time i love you so long and good night um, and, uh, not if I don't see you first. All right. <laughs>